Hi everybody, Jackie here with Jen from Four Core Heating and Air Conditioning today. How you doing? Good. 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 So today we're asking the question, you know, if I'm moving out into the country and I don't have natural gas available, how can I heat my home? Right. Uh, well, there's always a uh, all electric. You're going to have electric to your home and all electric is a possibility. And if you're going to go with a forced air electric system, uh, a heat pump is a good idea. Uh, it's it's the cheaper way, but electric as a whole is usually the more expensive way to heat a house. Okay. Uh, the electric furnace is is, is is more of an expensive fuel, but it's it's available. And that's and, why people probably lean towards natural gas, but when it's not available, right. you only have so many options. You only have so many options. The other two are deliverable fuels, which would okay. be oil and propane. Okay. So okay. this would be an, one that would use oil. Right. This is an oil furnace. And one of the things you have to take into consideration uh, when you're having or putting in a deliverable fuel, is it going to be deliverable in terrible weather conditions? Um, mm. Believe it or not, we've run into that where you're out in the country and uh, the driveway is treacherous and uh, the owner of the property has a four wheel drive, that's not a problem, but the oil truck or the propane truck is usually not four-wheel drive and uh, if they can't get back there in terrible conditions you're going to have a problem getting your fuel delivered so a deliverable fuel may be better for someone who's not living in an extreme weather condition type of country not no snow not a lot well, of, well at least know, accessible. accessible if you're if you're if you're on the street you're out there in the country but it's very accessible to deliver your fuel that's fine and the other thing is to consider your costs uh, mm -hmm. uh, on these fuels um, Oil, I believe a gallon of oil usually runs pretty close to what a gallon of diesel fuel costs. Uh, propane, uh, that you'll have to check, that goes up and down. And, and electric, you know, you're paying for kilowatts. Yeah. So you want to look at the cost of your different fuels and, um, and that might be a consideration in what you'd be using as well. So it seems like if you're moving out to the country, natural gas is not available. Mm -hmm. There's a couple different options for you to explore, but depending on where you live, you know, where, you, what township or city or, you know, ordinance you're living under, there might be different things to consider. Accessibility, deliverability of those types of fuels, such as propane or oil, and then, you know, comparing that to kilowatts if you were to choose electric. Sure. And electric, one of the other options we're talking about that's available today is a geothermal heat pump. Oh, what's a geothermal a geothermal heat pump? Geothermal is where we're extracting in heat and rejecting heat to the ground okay, okay instead of draw, uh, drawing it from the air and the reason that's more efficient is the ground is actually a more reliable source mm. of, of heat and so you have uh, uh, better uh, efficiencies on it but it's more expensive on the install because okay. the ground loop has to be installed so it's going to be more expensive on the front end but your energy energy cost will be uh, lower, in the, lower in the long term. So there's a couple different things to consider, a lot of factors, mm -hmm. but you know, for every situation, there's a right answer and a right option. Sure. So consider these factors, and if you're curious about any of them as it relates to your space, check out fourcoreheating.com to contact them and inquire and see how they can help you out. They'd be happy to consult with you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jim.